people deluded i'm back again now hopefully you lot can hear me fine and apologies for if you can't i've tried um so yeah um jose antonio reyes now you know he used to play for arsenal he obviously left arsenal and moved on to different teams he's latest i heard he was playing in china he won a europa league title with seville he's obviously played at atletico madrid he's played for his country he's had a good career didn't really fulfill his potential at arsenal and i don't really rate him too tough as a player i do think he had more technical ability than he got to show but a bit hot and cold for me anyways allegedly he used to join Una emre at arsenal as a as part of his technical staff now in that in what capacity specifically i'm not too sure we'll just have to look at this article um it says actually that he will join the technical setup while it's not specifically alluding to a title it says he'll work as a motivator so if i look at it from a, from my point of view or whatnot or just as a fan um, he could very well be assisting in the coaching and stuff like that. Um, I, I don't think that would be the case. I see it more of a case of a trusted lieutenant. Now, obviously, Uno Emre, he's managed Uno, um, he's played under Uno Emre. Uno Emre has managed him. He knows how Uno Emre speaks. They're countrymen, so they probably get each other as well. Um, he will join the strong, trusted lieutenant or men that Uno can trust or know his way of thinking or his ethos already with the numerous amount of coaching staff Uno brought in. So he'll be that. He'll be someone just essentially eyes and ears when he's not there. And he's also someone that maybe if... Because sometimes... you got to look at it this way sometimes, people. When you're in a team, like I look at it, my team now, they had Darren and Snatch now. Two managers in it. Got a lot of time for them. They've taught me a, they taught me a lot, not just as a footballer, but as a man as well, as a black man as well. Um, but um, they, Darren was the head coach. Snatch was the assistant, essentially. Not that it mattered because when Snatch was ready, or Snatch had the authority to obviously do his thing. And Snatch's voice held as much weight, sort of thing, arguably more, because Snatch was very militant, people. You know how much times he's made me run for laps and do push ups? And I used to hate when he used to watch my team at pre season. Um, there was one time he was doing sit ups and then and push ups and just mad stuff. And like he thought I wasn't putting in any effort. The guy was not moving, people. I felt like puking. But back to the point, obviously if Darren walked away and joined another team or another mini team in the training session or had to do certain things or couldn't be at training, um, Snatch is obviously there to relay the message and more importantly listen to things, how people are behaving, report back. They might not be at, act a certain way around Uno Emre or behave in certain ways um, around him, but they might switch off or do certain things with Re where Reyes is still. Or Reyes, what's more importantly, if I'm Reyes and he's seen as that, more time, you don't want to be seen until you need to be heard. If he's acting as a motivator, he's someone to positive, positively reinforce people. Probably someone as well also to say that, okay, Uno Emery's methods might be a bit extreme or something. They might rub someone up the wrong way, but he can explain obviously to people why they might be do why Uno, Uno Emery sort of does that sort of thing. So you can never discount these sort of things. For what it's worth, um, this news is emerging from a Spanish outlet as well, so... There could, depending on how you look at it, I don't have any knowledge on that, but there could be some um, reliability in it, or it just could be someone just making up a story because it's relevant to the region or whatever, just to sell stuff. For what it's worth, the Daily Star, not to plug them, they've said that Reyes was also seen this week at the Emirates, or around the Emirates, driving his yellow Ferrari, they specified. Um, did he go into the Emirates? Did he meet with someone? Was he just in London on business or meeting friends? Again, I don't know people, but... We can only speculate. For what he's worth, I believe he's 35. Well, yeah, Reyes is 35, so he's still quite young. Um, he, he was, he's, like This article says he was playing in China as recently as spring, so China, was, I was right about the last time I saw him. So he is quite young, so it's a good opportunity. Just as if he does want to, if it is a sort of coaching or sort of role and he does want to embark on that sort of life or post-playing career, it's a fantastic opportunity. He's built up good playing experience. I mean, the man's played for Real Madrid, won a league title there played for Arsenal as well, he's obviously won titles with Arsenal, well, won trophy at Arsenal, won his ting, won his ting at um, Seville as well, so he's had a good playing career, he's played at different clubs, different ethoses, different coaches, different players, so he's built a lot of um, people management, um, how to build and maintain relations, coaching styles, coaching climates, what's gone well for him in his career, what's gone bad for him, he's built a lot of that up, obviously he might have even learnt stuff in China as well, He's obviously probably learnt different nutri new in terms of nutrition and, and dietary needs in, in these different regions or countries he's played in as well to, um, to enable his just thinking to be better and stuff like that. I don't know if Reyes aspires to be a manager, but as far as to my knowledge, this would be his first playing post-playing career 
role sort of. So it'd be a fantastic opportunity to join a club that he knows is one of the biggest in the world. Obviously, he knows the club. Um, he's changed a lot since he's left, but he essentially knows the club. He's, he's a former worker of the club, former uh, manager managing the club as well. So he might be able to push his luck and maybe advance quicker into certain roles or, or do certain things beyond the, the job role and things like that. It's a good opportunity for him to get his feet wet and, and stuff like that, if it is true, people. Again, I don't know. Um, should we try and click on another sort of link or something to see if there's something else that could be said on this? Um, there's only, see, yeah, it's only the Daily Star speaking, I think, people. But let me type in Jose Antonio rather than just where it is. No, people say it's just the Daily Star speaking on him, really. So, yeah, all oh, right. Just random fact, he said he's played for eight clubs, really. But, um,. Yeah, like if it, if it is true, then cool. To be honest with you, I must admit. Um, again, if you know can trust him and he, and he believes in him and it is true, then what can, what else can you say? But um, it doesn't really jump out at me. Um, yeah, to be honest with you, but it is what it is. Really, I shouldn't be even making a video and speaking about this. But we're we're at where we're at, and obviously at the end of the day, a former Gunner is always welcome at the club. He knows the thing, how the thing works, and whatnot. So. I've got nothing more to add, man. I'm just rambling now. People, DG, stay blessed, stay safe, God bless. Hit the like, subscribe, and if you've got anything else to say, don't be afraid to comment. You guys know I'm always in the comment sections. DG, God bless. Bang.